Oh, wow, that's amazing. <laughs> Such a good idea. You should do one. You should do one. I totally do one. That Absolutely. Would that would be so amazing. We just done one with... Um, we done. We did. I took Jake Gyllenhaal last month to Iceland. You did? Who was brilliant? Iceland's amazing. We had some crazy weather. We had the worst storms I'd have for ten years. Literally, we had a jumbo jet blowing sideways across the airport whilst I was up <gasps> five thousand foot up a mountain with them. Both of us being blown like tumbleweed. But uh, that was quite terrifying. If you've got Jake. I mean, it's bad if you fall off a mountain, but they'll really shout at you well, if he falls off. It's funny, because nobody seems to care if I fall off. <laughs> Suddenly, you take someone famous, and, like, the insurance guy, can you promise us he'll be safe? And I went, no. <laughs> it's like, you can't. Some yeah. wild stuff happens, you know, and there yeah. was a kind of pause on the end of the phone. But, um... So you had to I don't know, I don't quite know why some people's lives are valued more than that. I thought nobody's ever asked me that, but that's, um... <laughs> maybe that's the world of... Off the box set proceeds. Do <laughs> <laughs> you guarantee yourself that you won't be hurt? No. There you go. There you go. Yeah. It, I'll keep you safe. <laughs> All right, Thank creepy, you. creepy now. <laughs> now, so you don't be Nancy. <laughs> Nancy. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I'm being off. That's his wife's oh. name. And I slept with him two hours ago. <laughs> There, and you thought you'd been in dangerous positions before. Thank you for the extra material. <laughs> <laughs> now, in terms of Sunday, when you're on stage, I'll yes. you, I'm a little concerned. How familiar are you with our celebrities, with British celebrities? Kind of. I mean, I'm. I'm really doing my homework and I'm getting all the newspapers, such as Hello and Heat. <laughs> <laughs> all the excellent periodicals. Um, so but I still have some to learn. If I give you a pop quiz, if you if you bought Hello and Heat, you'll know these. Okay. You'll know these. You all can right. join in too if you know them. Really? Okay. okay, so who's this? Do you know who this is? Oh, that's a footballer. Yes. Uh, and is, is, is his name Ryan? No. Yes. Okay, Ryan Wilkies or something like that? What's his name? <laughs> Close. Do you know? Do I you? don't. I don't know anybody. Fair. Ryan Giggs. Being Ryan Giggs. Uh, okay, yeah. now who is he sleeping with? Well. <laughs> who isn't he, should I say? How, how long is your matinee? <laughs> as long as you want. <laughs> yeah, but now this, oh, I bet you, well, you've got to talk about this, because this, this is the, the image of well, it's the... It's all about Pippa. Let oh. me tell you something. If I was Kate and my sister showed up in that dress, I'd cut her. <laughs> <laughs> Go back. Go change. Go back and put on the high collar period piece that we talked about earlier. <laughs> Pippa stole the show. She really did. Yeah, we, she? we finally finally are on to Pippa. And then when she was on the cover of People and it said, oh, it's all about Pippa, we knew. We knew it was time to be obsessed with Pippa, and we are now. No, so in America. <laughs> She's caught on, yes, more than Kate. Like, guys love her, and they have naughty thoughts about her. And, um, yeah, we're a little bit Pippa obsessed now. And also, that name is ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, really, and how much money does she have that she's bored with her name and decided to call herself Pippa? I mean, honestly. It's like an Eaton name, right? Probably your crowd. <laughs> it's like a society name, like Muffy or Tippy. <laughs> it just bleeds money, you know? I got money and a hot body. Screw you. <laughs> but it's not all classy people. Oh, good. Uh, do you recognize these people? Is that Girls Aloud? No. <laughs> Am I close? Am I warm? <laughs> no. Do you know Bear? No, but I'm kind of bad on girl bands. He's in the wild half. Of his. That's right. He's eating yeah. yak balls. Yeah, he's like... <laughs> it's not even a girl band. Oh, oh sorry. Is it Jordy Shores? <laughs> You're so close. You're so close. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a reality show. The only way is Essex. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. I'll do my homework. No, because reality shows, obviously, you know... Was... Fantastic. Yes. Gold but, mine of uh, well, ridiculousness. But also you, that's kind of, you know, you that's were my genre. for six years. Six years. Cameras everywhere. Now, is it over? It's over, yeah. It was called My Life on the D-List, and I'm too big. I'm sitting here with this dude and Cameron Diaz. <laughs> <laughs> this dude is the best I can do. <laughs> you know, he, 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 you owe him one. I'm going yeah, yeah. to pay him back, trust me. <laughs> <I'm gentle. laughs> and, uh, in terms of giving a camera crew full access, mm -hmm. Kathy, in your final season, yeah. You went about as far as it's possible to go. I got the first ever public pap smear that was televised, and wow. I was bejazzled. 
<laughs> I'm bedazzled right now. Are you really? Yes. Are you really? Yes. Is it uncomfortable? <laughs> Drink so up, I honey. Need it. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna need it. <laughs> yes, I wow. got I got waxed and then they put jewels on my jewels. Oh, I need another set. <laughs> I want to empty that glass. <laughs> yeah. Did you get pierced? No. I, uh, I'm uh, going to leave little Kathy alone. Okay. <laughs> or as you call her, little Nancy. Yeah, they just glue on. It's oh, like putting stickers on. Oh, it's sort of like a sticker. It's like, it's like yes. from a sticker from the doctor's office Thank you. after you get a shot. Exactly. Right? Oh, I get it. Let's get past <laughs> It's the icing on the cake. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I've, done, I've done an enema on TV before, which was... See? But that was in Salt the, water enema? But that was in the wild. It was for... I wasn't bejazzled. You weren't bejazzled. <laughs> uh, why, why would you need to have an enema? Well, I was trying to show you that it happened to a, um, a British family who was sailing and their yacht got hit by a whale. They ended up in life for 30 days and they were basically dying of dehydration. And the mum was a nurse. She had the two young kids. And the only way she could rehydrate them once they pass out from dehydration, was to get all of the fetid water, all the rainwater and turtles and blood and everything they've been living off in the bottom of the life raft, and set up their backside and rehydrate them so their body can absorb the fluids without getting sick. So I thought I'd just demo this on this raft I was on out at sea and found some I watched fetid that, so I water. I think that and... might have been when I watched. But I was, say... that was a low point in my life. But... I would prefer to die. <laughs> Kill me now. <laughs> yeah, you just look at all that shit and go, no, nah, I'll die. <laughs> it's fine. It's, it's amazing. This, this, the this, series this, is this, over. <laughs> my ass has cancelled myself. <laughs> well, I, have, I have a great cameraman who normally at the end of it, whenever, <laughs> whenever we do stuff normally at the end of it, he goes, bear, that was great, or whatever. At the end of this one, when I've done it, I was going, sometimes you've got to lie back and think of England and this <laughs> fetid water's going in at the end of it. He goes... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I won't be coming with you. Don't you have injuries? Your book, which we must mention, uh, which is out now, uh, Bear Grylls, Mud, Sweat and Tears. Thank and you, it, it talks about how... Uh, basically, it was a, a really serious injury that kind of spurred you on to do your big first adventure, climbing Everest, wasn't it? Um, I was in the military at the time, and uh, I'd spent three years with the, with the SAS there, and I had a, basically a free-fall parachuting accident whilst I was in southern Africa, and canopy ripped a two, and it was getting dark, and I was spiralling down very fast, and the long and short of it was I broke my back in three places and spent the next year strapped up in military rehabilitation back in the UK. And, and I think sort of people often say you must have been very positive to go from that to the top of the world and the Everest climb, but it wasn't like that. It was a dark kind of rocky road where you're trying to piece together your confidence and your movement and everything again. And, um, but it did make me realise I've been given a second chance and life doesn't always give you that. And if it does, you've got to be grateful and you've got to grab it and yeah. go for it. And you talk about uh, how everyday items can save a life. And, I mean, really everyday items, things like uh, shoelaces, paper clips. But uh, apparently you can show us how a sock can save a life. A lot of the reasons you get sick in the wild is you drink bad water, and clear water isn't necessarily clean water, and therefore if you've got oh, muddy it. water, you can filter enough filtered water through everything, from my underpants to, you know, your socks, and it's not always going to taste or smell particularly nice, but there's ways of doing it to get rid of a lot of the bacteria. OK, so you can demonstrate, can't you? We've got some of the stuff you need to put in your sock. OK, so... Or pot. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Have you brought a large knife on set? <laughs> oh, well, that was just, that was just for these guys. <laughs> <laughs> Any more dick jokes in it? <laughs> <laughs> so, you haven't... Okay, I haven't no, I've got, got a sock. OK. <laughs> <laughs> if I, I would have changed my socks. If, but, okay. so, so, we've got sand. Sand is good, so you stuff okay. that in it first. Okay. That's going to get rid of little bad articles. Charcoal, that's great for getting rid of bacteria, so get a, rid of the really little nasties. Yes. And then a load of grasses. What do they do? And that takes out the bigger nasties. Uh -huh. That's just for stuffing. By the way, this is yeah. a delicacy <laughs> in many cultures. <laughs> and then... The thing is, you're going to look at this, OK, because it's a No, no, I will, it should be dirty. So it should, if I put some charcoal... Like, if I put <coughs> okay, some charcoal in my wine... <coughs> 
Yeah, okay. Dying okay. over here. The thing is, it's, kind of, it's not a great... <laughs> You're right. Joking. Well, you okay? Hold on, the high... The high... <laughs> <laughs> stand up, stand up. No, no, no. I, no, see, I, are you thought, talking? I, I just breathe okay, water. Okay, here we go. <laughs> 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 you got it? Yeah. Okay. You say it's a lie. Okay, so, are you all right? I'm ready to help. If, if that gets water out of the lungs, I'm fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> you were seriously in distress there. No, I was just... I was acting. <laughs> Give her an Oscar. <laughs> OK. OK, you pour So it. I just pour. Oh, okay. This is like okay, decanting. Go, 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 go. marvellous. Be bold. You got lots of it. Pour it in, pour it in. <laughs> oh, come on. I was like, no, that on, actually... No, actually, that is... Not bad. ...better than... Should we check and see if it's gonna... OK? Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. And my socks. I just drank it through a sock. <laughs> Can I it just say, like, I've literally, I've literally, no, this like is converse. true. I have literally just wrapped season six, came back from Utah and California yesterday, and um, those are the same and socks. And this hasn't been changed a while. <laughs> So, well done, you. Yeah. 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 Wine and cheese. Yeah. 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 Mm, lovely. Yeah. Yeah. In for a penny. Mm. Oh. In for a pound. <laughs> Delish. <laughs> I like some nice fromage with I that. I like that he puts it back on and then... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs>